Hello everyone and welcome back to Lave Station and Base Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. Uh, we are here with the large refueling vessel which will eventually dock to the Lave Station and we also have the space plane on its way as well and we're going to follow them out. Uh, currently, well this one has its maneuver in 354 days and as usual it's tough to see where the space plane's at. Let me just go to the tracking station to refresh my memory. So that's the sphere, and the leaf planter launch is our space plane. Come on, fix those things, fix those things! Okay. And this, so this is first, alright. So let's follow this out. Well, that looks good. We're crashing into something. That's always a good sign. And it's Jewel. Um, that's not the inclination I was looking for, though. Please let this be right. Okay, that is acceptable. Those are going outward, so that's the in one, and that's going inward, so that's the out one. Okay. Alright, so the space plane is on its way to Jewel, and it's periapsis, at, I think is after the other one. This one's coming in first. And two years and 45 days. Alright. Switch to this one. It's probably a bad way to do it, I don't know if it's safe to switch to things like this. That's a good reaction wheel right there. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay, well that's not as bad a match as the other one. But we still need a correction. What's that one? Wait. What is that line then? It seems like that line is... Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, wait. Kerbal! Okay, so I was getting confused because, you know, usually those things are on our approach to Jewel or whatever planet showing where we enter and exit the SOI, right? That one and that one. So I'm going like, why are we entering and exiting the SOI like that when I thought we were having this pass right here? Well, that is the pass we're having in one year and 237 days. That one is apparently in 10,877 years. Ten thousand eight hundred and seventy seven years. I don't even believe this game can get it accurate after that long a period of time. Even with everything on rails. I mean, I don't mind accuracy, but at least Put the entry and exit points on the first entry and exit into Jules SOI, not on the one that's after 10,000 years. Okay, well, let's try and do this. Well, now at least we have wiped out that nefarious 10,000 year thing and we've got that one. So this refueler is on its way properly to Jewel and we are going to follow it in because it is the first one to arrive. That's a lot of not enough resources suddenly. Wow, they're happening really fast. I haven't seen not enough resources spam like this before. Okay, I don't think we need any further corrections right now. We should just go to Jewel Periapsis and capture. I mean, probably it's okay to just get it over to Leif, but... We might want it to be flexible. However, if we try to keep it flexible, it's going to be potentially perturbed by some of the moons of Jewel. So, yeah, probably we're just going to send it over to Leif. There's Jewel. Okay, ignition.
All right, well, I'll take that many days. And we should target Lath. I can't make two maneuvers, so that's what we'll have to do. 37 days. Now, how's the space plane doing? Oh, is it really showing me? Okay, uh, clicking on the space plane seems to show me the periapsis in 187 days. So we can do this first, assuming that that's correct. Okay, so here we're lifting up our orbit to match Leif's orbit on the periapsis side. Up, 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 up. Guess I'm upside down. Up. Okay, so inclination correction over there. Still should be before the plane comes in. Well, now when I click on the plane, oh, there we go. 149 days, it says. It says, okay. Okay, well, that should be the inclination good enough. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, 0, 0. .0. Okay, and the space plane is still on its way in. So, we will phase with lathe. Maybe I should lift the orbit a little bit. Well, it should be deep within Leith. Okay, well, we are getting a Leith encounter potentially with this. Ah, uh, we are crashing into it though. Oh, well, seems good to me. Okay, we are in Leith SOI with the refueler. Now maybe I should plot the capture. It shouldn't take too long. This has a lot of fuel and not much else. Probably we don't want it exactly at periapsis. Yeah, capture event is well ahead of periapsis like that. So actually pretty close to periapsis will be fine. We don't really need to get low yet, because we don't know how exactly the space plane is coming in. And getting this over to Leif is already going far enough. So we'll keep it barely captured so it can change its orbit easily. Okay. We have captured round Lathe. We'll just leave this here for now and focus on a space plane. Very unconventional space plane. Okay, so our space plane has entered Jules SOI. The periapsis seems fine. I think it's pretty flat to the system. So we'll just proceed as it is. Oh, I thought, well, it just might be camera angle though. I thought we were flatter to the system than that. Okay, capturing round jewel. Okay, that's even lower than before. Alright, targeting Leith. Oh yeah, only 4 degree inclination. Got plenty left for the basics, I think. Getting to Lathe and capturing around Lathe. Oop, went too far. Okay, maybe I don't have Lathe as the target. Nope, it is the target. Okay. Not there yet? No, there we go. Alright, well, close enough. Alright, inclination correction for Leith. Okay, so now we can get over to Leith. Well, we've got an apparent Leith periapsis there.
Uh, oh, no, no. Uh... Wait, which side? Okay. That's the outside. So this is the right way around. Okay, maybe this is alright. Ah, it's too touchy. Ah, uh, we'll just get into the SOI and fix it. It's amazing how non interfery the Moons of Jewel have been in this version of the game. I mean, presumably Encounters stuff hasn't changed at all, so... But I just recall them being much more prone to interfere with me. Okay, we are in Leith SOI. Oh, that's actually a lower periapsis than I was expecting. Okay, capturing round lathe. Doesn't seem like it's too different in orbit from the refueler. They're a little bit out of phase with each other. And we want to top this off with the refueler before this lands. Well, let's hop on over to the refueler and see what we can do here. Well, relative speed up there is really slow, so why don't we try and meet it up, uh, meet up with it over there? Can't really go higher because we'll just exit the SOI. Eh, well, that's spending less up front to spend more later. Okay, this thing. Can I move this out of the way somewhere? <laughs> I was hoping to see the inclination, but it just moved in there and I can't see it anymore. Well, that's pretty good. So up there we'll meet up with it pretty close and we're spending about 164. Okay, go. Okay, let's see. Well, why is there many of them? There's like two ones and two... Come on! Okay, well that should be close enough. Okay, there it is. Okay, ignition. Okay, let's just get them both lined up. Okay, hopefully you can hold right there. Okay, seems good to me. And probably overdoing it for KSP2 tolerances. Oh, okay, okay, it looked like it was gonna bounce off, but then it connected, okay. Alright, uh, whatever you say, I don't remember the 30 G's, but okay, 0.5 G's, I also don't believe, but anyway. Can't trust anything with this, but... Resource Manager... Hydrogen... Spheratron... Well, the Spheratron still has plenty. That, that's the tank on the Spiritron itself, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, seems like it did its job. I mean, of course this is going to... I mean, the question is whether we're going to send this over to the station immediately or not. I mean, the, the intention is to dock it to the station, but... Maybe keeping it loose would allow it to refuel the space plane again once the space plane has made orbit, if the space plane can make orbit. I mean, there's probably no reason why the space plane can't rendezvous with the station first. But maybe we should... Oh, I just switched vessels. Um, maybe we should try and bring the space plane down first. So, hold on. We should save. Our landing site's right there. It'd be nice to get this down sooner rather than later. 
so we need a atmospheric periapsis but what is the right number 42 we'll do 42 okay well 40 we're gonna try for 42 I don't know how much I should point at prograde and how much I should tilt up though I gotta try this much tilt up is that a good amount I don't know well I can't tilt up that much it's going it's going down it's going down uh, it's trying to tilt up but it's not it's not working Well, we will have error braked, but I don't think we will have error braked enough. Okay, so as expected, that didn't bring us down enough, but maybe another pass at the same altitude would do the trick. Or this altitude. Let's just try that. I mean, I don't want to use fuel after all, and nothing horrible happened. Yeah, I just want to adjust the periapsis. Let's try again. Okay, here we go again. Okay, we do have to try one more time. I think I'll try for a slightly higher periapsis, though. Well, Jules covering up the sun. Jules covering up the sun, but apparently Leaf is outside of the shadow. I'll try that, 44.4. One hundred and seventy-one. I I think I'll try another pass rather than trying to um, use the fuel because I think every little bit of fuel will count. Eh, it's going in the dark. We, well, once we get into a lower bit, we'll have to wait a little bit. Uh, why are we laggy? Oh, we must be going over to the site. Yeah, we were passing over the landing site. And so it actually lagged because it was loading some stuff. Hopefully it didn't all get destroyed. Okay, here we go again. Hopefully not going suborbital. Okay, I think I'll just use the fuel now. Okay, I'm just going to round it out at 80 kilometers by 80 kilometers. Okay, so that's okay for now. Let's wait until the landing site is in a nice location. <laughs> 